Welcome back, Corlings, to more Dragon Age Origins. Still stomping around Kaddish Taig. I'm uncertain what I hope to find here. As are we. Looks like a big fucking ogre. Oh, hello. It is. It's an alpha ogre. Bright like a diamond, remarkable ruby. We'll give that to Shale. Kadash Stumpers. This might actually be good for Zevran. Oh, yeah. It's gonna mess up our set, though. Probably worth it. Increases hostility, un unfortunately. <clears throat> That's okay. We'll see how that works out. Be a good set to get. Especially if each piece gives you some dexterity. All right, all right. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? The tight shaker. Got a shanker door mace. Plus five cunning. It's pretty nice. Interrupt spell casting. Another good dag dagger for Zevran. Whoa! What is this? This. This I remember. It, it has dates and names. This is to honor those who volunteered, those who became columns. And there is my name, Shale of House Kadash. I recognize it. I was not created as I am now. I was once a creature of living flesh, a dwarf and a woman. This is a revelation. The anvil did use living souls to make olems. Perhaps. It is one thing to believe, however, and another to know. I will need to think on these things I have learned. Perhaps I will speak to it of them soon. For now, let us carry on as we have. It speaks. Okay. You're still with me, I see. I am, as I've said. For now, does it wish me to leave? I can, though I see no reason to go. No, stay, you're quite helpful. No doubt. Without me, it would have to carry its inventory on its own. Perhaps we should continue. Its chances of success are small enough without further dawdling. Quest complete. Shale plus nine. Codex complete. 
Shea, what can I say? I have a heart of stone. The golems of Orozumar once made up the vanguard of the dwarven army, holding back the tides of darkspawn that flooded out of the deep roads. But the art of making them was lost, and many of them succumbed to wear and damage in battle. Shale has no memories either of the time spent fighting in the deep roads or of coming to Homolith. Only a few spotty and bitter recollections of its last master. Luglug unearthed Shale's control rod and awakened it, adding a bitter malfunctioning golem to the menagerie of companions. Three hundred years earlier, she had been Shale of House Kadash, warrior of King Valtor, and a volunteer who chose to dedicate her life for all time to the defense of Orzammar. You've reached out the base of the vast monument at the center of Kadash Taig, still standing after all these years as it honors the dwarves who chose to sacrifice themselves to the Anvil of the Void to become golems. Seeing the monument was triggered some of Shale's long dormant memories, and she now remembers her origins as a brave dwarven woman. Oh, good. Maybe she'll get off my nuts. Oh, here we go. Here's the inspired skills. Moderate strength. Inspired by your leadership, this party member has gained a moderate bonus to strength. And we have some shrieks to kill. Some levelage. Ah, we'll wait for Morrigan. It's just rude to level up without her. Dinner room. I bet you we got a ton of shit to do back there. I think we're gonna head on over to Ostagar now and get some more DLC taken care of. Some good uh, items and weapons here. Random encounter on the way. Probably a dude selling shit. Yes. You have coin, stranger? Fine weapon and arm. Of course Warby. I got coin, dude. You got anything new or more bullshit? Looks like a bunch of bullshit to me. I'm gonna sell some stuff here before we go to Ostagar. Okay, cleaned up a little bit. Continue on our journey. We came here once and didn't really get the ball rolling, so I backed out when I realized this was a little bit more upper level ish. We should be pretty good now. A lot of dead doggies. The 
fuck. Guys don't look friendly. Here I am. I should like. I'm for a little bloodletting, I see. Just use an injury kit? Did I? Oh, maybe I did on an accident. <laughs> what the fuck? Bring it, man! Bring it! Plus one armor, plus 20 chance to dodge. Red steel. Only Lug Lug can wear those. Alright, now let's level up. Hmm. Yes. Fifty strength is good. A little bit of everything that turn. Why not? Okay, we're maxed out Berserker, maxed out Templar. We might as well finish our two-handed duties and get Destroyer. Few can stand against the savage blows of a Destroyer. Every attack sunders the target's armor, rendering, reducing its effectiveness for a short time. The effects of multiple blows are not cumulative. Who gives a fuck? It's required strength. 40, level 14. Boom, we want it. Two-handed weapon master. Stone Aura. I feel like we should finish. I mean, we're gonna be able to finish her shit anyways. It looks like. I don't know. Look, I don't know if she gets another ability. I'll take renewed assault. Whenever Stone Aura is active, Shale gains additional bonuses to armor and resist hostile spells. Party members with an aura gain additional bonuses to attack, stamina, regeneration, critical chance, and armor penetration. Enemies who enter the aura suffer penalties in the movement. Support mode imbues nearby party members with bonuses to attack, defense. Yeah, I don't know if we'll be in support mode as much. If we had two melee, that might be more feasible. But there could be a time when this comes into play, especially fighting against mages, things like that. <coughs> Zevran! We've pumped up your cunning quite a lot. We'll do some dexterity this time. Get your bows up there. Been pretty good about opening chesticles lately. 
Get another bard song. I kind of like Song of Valor. I'm thinking we're going to get our archery up a little bit now so we can do some more melee damage. We want that aim as well. That's a good little skill. Morgan! What up, honey bunny? I'm gonna throw you some willpower this this level and then we'll probably kick up the magic next level. Let's give a little magic. Arcane Mastery. Permanent bonus to spell power. Yes, thank you. That was easy. Some pretty obvious choices there. There's like shit everywhere. Here in Ostagar. That could be a big fight. We might want to pull something. Well, that did it. I think I just pulled everybody anyways. Pooch. Better calm your ass down, bitch tits. If I can't kill this dog, I'm taking it with me. I will name him Chewy. After my own four pound beast. Send him on his way or leave him alone. I just fed that motherfucker. The hell? It seems he has no intent of leaving your side. Okay, I guess you can't kill the second one. <laughs> That's alright. We'll take the little fat bastard. He can help guard camp. But I am going to name him after Chewbacca. There we go. Lug Lug's got to have Chewie by his side. 
the Mabari is clever enough to speak and wise enough to know not to. Luglug found this Mabari at the camp of As Ostagar. His master was killed in the wilds, and Chewie fell ill from biting the darkspawn in battle. battle. Chewie seems to have chosen Luglug as his new master now, seeking Luglug out after the battle at Ostagar and warning of an impending darkspawn attack. All right. Well, couldn't kill this dog, so we're 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 taking him. Maybe he'll help in the final battle. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Sure. Now it's better. Than However, you want to get to those pile of sacks, you just go right ahead. Oh yeah? Blight Wolf? Good night, Wolf. Oh yeah? Rogue, huh? Boom, motherfucker! Alien shield and a health bolsters. They're pointing out where this guy's armor is so that we can't miss it. It tells you that this armor is special. Duncan's fire. The Dark Spawn have done their best to defile the bonfire where Duncan kept his nightly watch. Perhaps they still sense something of the man's power. On it. Key required. That works buried key. Now is better than later. This won't take long. Need a key for that too. Like. Shit. Dark Spawn Forge. Pretty badass little forge. As you like. Eric's blade. It's only a one-handed. Weakens nearby Darkspawn. That fucks Darkspawn up. That is a sexy sword, and I must have it. Well, you can have it. 
To His Majesty King Kaelin of Freldon, my warden commander assures me that when we face the Blight, this thing threatens us both and we must work together to fight it, lest it devour all. Our two nations have not had a happy history, but all is that's all it is, is history. It is the future that is at stake now. Let us put aside our father's disagreement so that we may secure the future for both our countries. My chevaliers stand ready, and we will accompany the Grey Wardens of Orlaeus to Ferelden. At your word, the might of Orlaeus will march to reinforce the Ferelden forces. Sincerely, Empress Celine Dion. Kellen, the visit to Ferelden will be postponed indefinitely due to the Darkspawn problem. You understand, of course. The Darkspawn have odd timing, don't they? Let us deal with them first. Once that is done, we can further discuss a permanent alliance between Orlias and Freldon. A note written in an uncharacteristically familiar tone from Empress Celine Dion to King Kaelin. I didn't know Celine Dion was in this game. Whoa. Yeah? That means I'll go back this way. Peter Gloves. Yes. That's the ones we want to put on Zevran. Give him rapid aim. Armor penetration. And that will kind of cancel out the, when he uses the aim skill. Already la lost our set bonus, anyways. Your desire. You are ranged. Tell me you are using. I can't use aim there. Sustain, cooldown. Oh, I gotta keep that active, huh? Yeah, keep that on. You're a fucking archer. 
right, folks, that wraps it up for this episode. Stay tuned for more Dragon Age.